how to build the sensor box. Here we are looking at the 3D print, including the CAD design, the 3D printing and post-processing. The video is intended to be used with our documentation that provides detailed step-by-step -step instructions with tricks and tips on how to build the sensor box. Let's take a look at our CAD designs. We use FreeCAD for the design of our sensor box. FreeCAD can be downloaded for free from its website. We already downloaded a copy which can be launched by just clicking on the app image. The design is very modular and easy to change. We provide our CAD design files in FreeCAD's native file format and export them as STL files for 3D printing. Let's take a look at our 3D printing. We used Pusa Slicer to turn our 3D models into G-code for our 3D printer. Pusa Slicer can be downloaded for free from its website. We already downloaded a copy which can be launched by just clicking on the app image. We imported the STL files of our models. We chose PETG as our filament and adjusted some of the generic settings. We sliced our 3D models and exported them as G-code for our 3D printer. When using the original Prusa i3 Mark III, insert an SD card with the G-codes for our 3D prints. Select the print and print. Our sensor box consists of two major parts, the sensors and processing board and the cover. We designed a system of grooves to join all the walls together by simply sliding them into each other. Let's take a look at our post-processing. We are first working on the outside surfaces of the bottom plate and the vision board. Clean up the 3D prints using P150 sandpaper, a carving knife and a heat gun. To prepare for painting, sand the surfaces with P150 sandpaper. PETG supports higher temperatures, so you can use a sander. Use an automotive clear matte finish directly on the 3D print. You can use a cardboard box as a paint room. Apply 3 to 5 coats of the clear finish like a filler. Send again, now with P400 sandpaper.
Now apply the final three to five coats of the clear finish. Just a clear matte finish directly on a 3D print looks pretty good. Now we are working on the cover. As part of the 3D print cleanup, retrace any text with a nail. and the air holes with a screwdriver. Normally it's part of the assembly, but go ahead and insert the threaded heat inserts for the display in the cover. Assemble the cover by sliding the walls into each other and use super glue to glue them together. To prepare for painting, sand the outside surfaces with P150 sandpaper. Fill any open joints where the walls slide into each other and the outside surfaces with automotive body filler.
sent again first with P150, then with P400 cent paper. Use an automotive primer and color. Apply three thin coats of the primer. Again, send with P400 sandpaper. Again, apply three thin coats of the primer. Now wet sand with P1500 sandpaper. Now apply six or more coats of the color. Using automotive paints creates professional looking and robust surfaces.